Hey, it's Super V Shirley, and today is Tuesday, June 1st, 2021. It is about 75 degrees out. We got a light breeze, a sunny skies, partly cloudy. You can see the tree canopy has filled in above me, so the beehives will be getting dappled shade and sunlight for the rest of the season. So come along with me and we'll take a look inside the hives. I brought out some frames. Hopefully they need some frames today. So we'll see how it goes. And we have an ant colony. Don't tell grandma. I spent a good amount of time getting all the ants off of the top bars and the cover. They didn't like the smoke, which was a good thing for me. That helped me get them out of the corners. Let's hope they are living in synchronicity with the bees inside the hive. So just a few bees on the divider board. And if I see any ants, you know me, I'm gonna get them, so. Oops. Somebody get squished over there. All right, so we have two, four, six, eight, ten frames. Ten frames in only one. Frame ten. It's just wire foundation, nothing on there. Frame nine, we got a few bees and it has a starter strip. Now, now I can hear the hive. I'm not sure if you can, but. Frame eight. Had a starter strip, and I can see they they're building comb on that. Frame seven is a full wax foundation. have some festooning. So you heard that little high pitched buzz or that change in the buzz sound. It's because they were festooning and they hadn't let go yet. So whew, happy the ants didn't turn this hive into death number two. All right, I'm going to pull this one up so you can see this one, but we're not going to go any further in the hive. I'm just in here to make sure they didn't need frames. They don't need some new frames. So, get that. Where are they coming from? Get that out of there. This is frame seven. Oh, I can see nectar. That's great. Mm -hmm. 
and then I can see heck capped honey in this frame. They're working this frame. Oh, I see some pollen. Lots of bees, so that's good. There's pollen pants right there. Right there, right there. Two bright yellow. And I watched a video recently that said that if they come in with pollen, they unload the pollen themselves. Unlike other resources where they transfer those resources to bees uh, and then they put them in the cells that they want, the pollen, they deposit themselves. That's what the video that I watched recently said. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Scanning for the queen. This queen is dark. I don't see her, but this uh, foundation is not fully drawn out, so I wouldn't expect to see her on this frame. So, and then we're going to flip it back around so that it gets put back into their house, the same orientation that it came out. Oh, and there's an ant. push these back together so it's just easier for me to push them all back together. And now I really can hear the nest. We're just going to push them back together. And there's bee space along three sides of this, of this frame style, the sides and the bottom. And then their roof gets totally pushed together. Yeah, born. I don't want anybody to Perish. Yeah. Got the smoker going really good today. It's that fresh pine. Can you hear the hive? Okay, we're gonna move on to the gnome, sweet gnome hive and see what's going on there. Hopefully, no ants.
broke it into the gnome sweet gnome hive. I say that because uh, the people that made the hive for me painted this ledge and it's sticking. So I might have to sand some of that off. Uh, the other hive that I had made for me, I, I painted it myself and I didn't paint that ledge. So I gotta kind of wedge it out just to give you a heads up if you're making your own. Be careful maybe what kind of paint you use and where you put your paint because it might make opening it a challenge. All right, so on this hive, uh, we've got seven frames and these bees were hived on April 16th. So it's been six weeks and four days since they've been in this hive. I'm in zone four in Wisconsin, USA. So let's take a peek and see where we're at. There weren't any bees over here, no debris. There were a few dead bees on the top that I scooted away. Nobody on the divider board. So two, four, six, frame seven is a full sheet of wax foundation. This side they have not done anything with. A few bees on that side. And then frame six is a wired frame. Nothing on there yet. Frame five is wax foundation. And they're just starting to work on this side. So I'm taking a peek today to see if I had to add frames and I don't think I do. I won't go very far in today. Yeah, this one, they barely started. This one, frame four, if the bees are not festooning, I will pull the frame out. And show you what I am seeing. Well, they were festooning, but as long as I have it out, we're gonna show you what, what's going on. Okay, so this is frame four. And cap tunny at the top, so that's great. Scanning for the queen. Do you, if you see her, add a comment. See a big old drone. So I'm seeing on this side, uh, pollen. And nectar. I see some eggs. Flip it around. So same thing, almost identical on both sides. And that's good. So the side that you're seeing has got a bunch of capped honey. That's great. That's the side they're working on first. And this other side that's facing away from the entrance is not as heavily worked. And that's to be expected. They'll work their way down the hive and fill it up. So that's all the further I'm gonna go in today. Like I said, this inspection was just to see if 
Oh, big old drone. I'm not happy I disturbed him. Uh, I'm just coming in here to see if they need frames and they do not. So we'll come back in later this week and see how they're doing. is interesting there's one right there totally deep into that cell doing something something interesting That's it for this hive inspection. Getting everybody back together. Wow, and for some reason they got all feisty. Here, shut them up. Okay, that's it for this uh, inspection. It is Tuesday, June 1st. Neither hive needed new frames today. They've got plenty of room left to work. We'll keep an eye on that ant situation on the other hive. You may have to try some cinnamon around the legs for that hive. Uh, ants have no chance of getting in this hive. Like I said, the lid is sticking, um, maybe because of the paint type or because there's paint on uh, where the lid meets the base of the hive. And my other hive, I did not paint all of that. So, all right. Thanks for checking in with me. This is Super B Shirley with BBS Bees. We'll buzz you later. Bye. Hello, it's Super Bee Shirley with BBS Bees, and today we are going to take a look inside both of the Langstroth 